Hey guys, what's up? It is Solo, and today we are talking about Iron Banana, aka Iron Banner. Uh, we're going to be talking about the new mode that they introduced this time around with Iron Banner, known as Eruption. It's basically like Cranked from Call of Duty, where every time you get a kill, it starts making it, so then you have like a buff. And then when you get five, the hunt begins, and you get the eruption timer, which is about 15 seconds. And in that 15 seconds, if you don't get a kill, you basically explode and get yeeted out of the map. Um, and that's basically what it was this time around, was that game mode. Of course, we had quite a few really good maps for it. A lot of people didn't like this, uh... This junction or the new map with it, I should say. Because they don't like the map being too big. Because with the eruption timer, it makes it really hard to actually get that done. Now, there is still a few things that are, I guess, touchy about Iron Banner. Because there are some things you can get, like, for example, you can still get stacked on. And it can still kind of feel one-sided sometimes. But for the most part, most of the Iron Banner matches felt very balanced. Especially with the mechanic. Because you, you hear, you know, how the point system works with, you know, people getting kills and going on the hunt. And you think, oh, well, that means if the other team is higher level players... They're just going to win because they'll go on the hunt and then destroy their, you know, destroy the other team. And honestly, that rarely happened while I was playing. It was usually probably the closest games I've played of PvP in the last, I want to say, year, year and a half. But yeah, so that was, that was the fun thing about this season's iron banner with eruption now there are still a few things people don't like about iron banner like the fact that a lot of older sets are still missing from more beginning era of destiny 2 and are not available to get from iron banner at this point in time which i can understand that one because there was a lot of cool iron banner sets we also haven't gotten a new one since the Iron uh, Forerunner set. So, keep that in mind. I don't remember exactly, I can actually look at it, when the Iron Forerunner set came out. Here it is. It came out in Festival of the Lost. Or not Festival of the Lost, Season of the Lost, which was right before Witch Queen. And we're about to hit Lightfall here at the beginning of the new year. So yeah, it, it definitely seems like we're at the time for a new Iron Banner armor set. So hopefully they introduce that sometime within the next two seasons. Or sorry, one season, my bad, because season 19 is the only one left before Lightfall. So I'm hoping we get that in Season 19, or we just get it with Lightfall. Somewhere around there, that would be fine with me. Um, the only real issue I would say I had was probably just progression for Reputation in Iron Banner. Because you figure, with the Reputation, people were getting like three times the... PvP reputation because of how the Iron Banner lined up with the increased Valor reputation. But with how it is right now, you were getting at least two to three resets before you would even be able to reset Iron Banner at all. Which I get, you know, it's probably, you know, a higher thing. Or a higher challenge to do. It's just weird. But yeah. I think all in all this time around. Iron Banner did really well. Especially with lobby balancing. And maybe this is a. I guess peek. Into what they could do for. The rest of PvP. Because I know my last video about. My issues with PvP. Went 
sort of you know really high in view numbers and a bunch of the comments are like oh well either it's people agreeing with me or people saying i don't know what i'm talking about and to the people saying i don't know what i'm talking about literally last night even in control with skill-based matchmaking somebody cheated the system got in to my match and had a 17.0 kd in that match and his buddy had a 5.0 kd so honestly that just proves to me more why skill-based matchmaking should be a thing because i'm sorry i never want to play that match ever again i was getting spawn trapped every single second of that match so yeah uh as far as maps for iron banner i can definitely get people's issue with newer map because well it's way too big for a mode like eruption just because it's gonna take a long time to get a kill if they spawn all the way in their spawn on the other side of the map but as far as it goes it looks like iron banner is gonna be pretty solid for probably the remainder of the season um but I think that's where I'm going to leave this video because I don't want to get into skill-based matchmaking. I don't want to get into PvP. This is an Iron Banner video. But anyway, guys, if you guys did like the video, hit the like button, comment down below. Uh, what was your favorite Iron Banner set? Mine was the Remembrance set just because it looked kind of like a Japanese era set. But anyway, guys, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.